Morning, everybody. Okay, I'm a hot mess. Just got out of the shower, threw my pajamas back on. I got to make breakfast. But listen, I, I just wanted to share this with you real quick. And, and don't be mad, because guess what? If you can sit there and watch those reality shows with the boobs hanging out and skirts up to their hoochie, you can deal with me in my pajamas, okay? Work with me here. Okay, so real quick, i got to tell you this, because I'm hoping it will help your day. All right, so here's what happened. I spoke with a friend of mine, and we were talking about um, how we were, were going through getting upset about some things that were going on, and, and she was going through some things that are quite challenging right now. But I shared something with her that I just, I would love to share with you in case you're going through the same thing. I said to her, here's what's happened with me. I woke up this morning and my phone carrier called me and said, we're about to turn your phone off. And I said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, I've been making payments every week to try to keep it up. And they said, well, you missed yours last week. So I said, okay, well, where, where are we now? Um, so they wanted me to pay some stupid amount to, to keep it on. And I said, well, I can't do the whole thing right now, so what can we do? All right, long story short, um, this representative just was immovable. So peacefully, I got out of bed, went in the kitchen, and, you know, went and took my shower and did the things I had to do. Not even, the Holy Spirit is so amazing, because I wasn't even focused on it. So finally what happened was, about 20 minutes later, I called back again, and I called another representative, and she was amazing, and I, I basically said the same thing. I'm a bottom line person. I don't need the whole story. Listen, what can we do? Here I am. What do we do? So she said to me, well, here's what I can do for you. I can, if you can make a payment today of, of this much money, I can defer the rest of the payment until you tell me when you can make it. So I told her. So she set me up. Wow, look at God. So here's what happened. I made that, now this is me talking to my friends, so I'm just sharing this with you. So then I called another friend, or I texted her, and I said, look, you made me an offer last week to help me out if I needed it, and is that offer still on? She said, yes. How much do you need? I told her, she called my carrier, made the payment for me. Now that's a real friend. And by the way, yes, I'm going to pay her back. So anyway, here's what I'm telling you. The reason I was so peaceful in all this, I realized more now than ever, another reason why I went through the journey of being homeless and sleeping in my car for 19 months. I was literally homeless for three years, to be honest with you. But the, the, when I was in the car, it's, it's almost like every time I tried to get out and go stay someplace, you know, as I talk about in my, my other video concerning the whole situation, the Holy Spirit said no. So what I'm sharing with you is, if you're getting a no right now for moving to a more comfortable level in your life, hang out. Just stay there. Because here's what this did for me. It made me understand how God works. Because this morning, when I was, when I was praying, as I was moving about the house, it was the Holy Spirit that moved this woman's heart that I called the second time. Okay? It was the Holy Spirit that moved her to, be, to, to give me favor to favor me according to God's will and to set me up so I still have my phone service. See, God is awesome. So what happens is I set, I always pray, please give me perfect joy and peace in my waiting for you to move. Remember those words. I think they're so imperative. When you pray, first of all, be thankful for the situation you're in. If you're open to God and you want to get closer to Him, you truly do, you really do, then embrace the situation you're in. I had to embrace sleeping in a car. But now it's all coming to an understanding where I see why I had to go through that. Now I totally trust Him. That's amazing to be at that level when I can say, wow, I totally trust God to the point where I didn't even freak out. Now mind you, I have five businesses and more. And I need my phone. But I was not freaking out. It was so amazingly awesome. It was like supernatural. Is so supernatural, and that's the God we serve. So, be uplifted, be encouraged, embrace your journey, watch God work, get closer to Him. These are the days and times we need to be super close and hear. This is my symbol, from my lips to His ear, from His mouth to my ear, so I can hear what I need to be, what I need to be doing, who I need to call, when I need to call them, so He can move and work for me. Okay, so I gotta go make breakfast, too bitch can't be here. Anyway, have a wonderful day, and stay tuned to life and keep learning. Thanks for letting me share. And yes, I'm going to do something with my hair, don't worry.